Hello everyone, in this video I will show you a solution that use a local timer work with King Kony Relay Board. And this video also uh, made for our career customer, uh, help him how to use it. Because there are some many different board without RTC clock inside of PCB. So in this video, I will introduce you use King Kony CULB logical controller uh, work as a local timer so that can uh, use a timer schedule uh, continually on and off uh, with King Kony relay board uh, by IS485 or by network cable uh, it, it according to your project. Okay, let's look at the sound details. And you can see this is the King Kony H32B Pro. Uh, actually, you can use any King Kony relay board and this is CULB logical controller. Because the h 32 b Pro uh, without RTC clock inside, but you can use timer uh, by to your mobile phone application just by the sense mode. So you can create a timer, uh, for example, every day, uh, 9 o'clock uh, to turn on relay 1 or turn off relay 1. Just this to your according to the internet. So if the internet is broken, uh, the to your the timer will not work. So this video will show you the solution that use a logical controller, uh, use a local timer, and uh, use a timer schedule continuously directly, just uh, in local network uh, by this uh, two parts uh, work directly. So without internet. Okay, let's look at how to set in software. Okay, let's back to my computer. You can see this is. Uh, King Kony logical controller CULB is very powerful. You can see uh, that have sound uh, 16 channel digital input and 16 channel analog input and a 5 channel temperature sensor. And uh, this can work uh, for FTTD command locally. And it also support the timer. So this, there are some details on our page. Uh, and in this video, I will just show you how to use that timer. So you can see uh, this is uh, CLB uh, web page, uh, you can see it here. Uh, that is a CLB, and this is for H32B Pro. So we will let these two controllers work directly. And you can see I have used King Kony scan device, uh, this A8 board, uh, this time in this video H32B Pro and work with CLB. So you can see they have different IP address and connect with the same load uh, just in local network. This CLB and this is h 32 be Pro. And the first, I want let it work with the HTTP command. So, and at here, uh, you can see this h 32 be Pro. And this h 32 be Pro HTTP command protocol, uh, you can download uh, and find in King Kony web page, uh, just at here, the software and documents. You will find uh, this h 32 be and the HTTP command, because we need to use, copy this command in uh, CLB uh, PC software. For example, if you want relay on, just you can copy this stream command, copy and paste it here. Uh, you, you need only to replace the IP address and the post password. And you can see this HTTP for three, 0.126 so we change it 3.126 and this means relay 1 on and the post password we will see the post password you can check it here in your http pro web page there are option at here you can see the post password this is 12345 you can set by yourself just not let everyone know this password this is own private password. So you can see, I can replace it 12345. So my password is 12345. So you can copy this HTTP command in your web browser. And you can see, enter. And you will see in HTTP report, you can see this relay one is on. You can see this relay one is on. And also you can see, if I want let relay 2 on, so you can copy this command. Just only you can see this, this command, uh, it's relay 1 on, relay 1 off, and 
release it on and release it off. So it's very easy. So you can see, I can just change to release to is on and copy this command at here and enter. And you will see uh, this release to is on. So also if I can change this on to off, just this off. So if you want, release one is off. So you can see, I just change this to off. So this is off, and I can copy and paste it here, enter, and you can see really one is off. And also use this way, you can see, I can copy this command and change this really two is off. Off, you can see this off. I copy and paste in my web browser and enter, and now you can see the really two is off. So this is the first step you need to uh, make a time schedule, let relay one on and let relay one off, or let other relay on and other relay off. You need to uh, have this HTTP command because we will use in software later. Okay, the next uh, we will open this CLB logic controller PC software. Just click this software. And the first you need to connect with CLB by this IP address and the port. So you can see, make sure you use CLB and work as TCP server mode because this is a server in local network. So you need to use this IP address and this port and log in by this software. And you can see uh, this IP address at here and this port at here. So now you can click connect. You can see that is connected successfully. So the first we need to click this one because we need to set the timer system for the CLB if the CLB is new. So you can see this is the Windows system timer. And now is this time, this clock. So the first you need to set the clock. So you can see uh, this one you can change, uh, such as change different months and different date. Because now is 2024 and 8 and 2 1. And this you need to change by yourself. You can see. Uh, uh, I can change to 16 and 0 0. You can see when this time is arrived. Okay, I click right clock. That means let this time and this date and write to the CLB. Uh, hardware. So this time, the CLB hardware, the clock, is as uh, thin as this one, the system as this one. Okay, we can go to this FTDT, and you can create many different uh, 50 FTDT commands. So the first one, we can edit this one, this first one, edit. And you can create the if condition, and this is then command. But you need to uh, make a custom size stream at command at here. For example, you want relay one is on, so you can copy this command at here. That means uh, number one customer command. Uh, you can see total 20, 32 command. So you can click save, just write current. So this is right to CLB. The first customer command number one is let relay one on. So we back to FTDT and edit the first FTD command. And you can see uh, I can set to 9 to 20 every day. And this time let really one on. Uh, I have three minutes to, to do this will be enough for me. <laughs> then I can add to if. And the then command, I need to click then. I can click this one, HTTP command, because we uh, not connect any wire cable uh, for this two controller. So just in, lo in local network, by an HTTP command is the easiest way. 
Also, you can connect to it by IS485. Uh, just use IS485 uh, command. This video, I will use the HTTP command. So, you can click Add Then command. So, when this time is arrived, we'll send HTTP command to the controller. And we can click Apply. And now, you can see the first HTTP command is right to the CLB logic controller. And now, let's look at this timer. And we will uh, wait for the 9 to 20. The time is arrived. We will look at the CLB logic controller, whether the relay one is on. If the relay one is on, so you can create the second uh, FTD command and the third FTD command and the fourth just set for different relay for different timer. Okay, let's wait for one minute and look at the H32 power relay one, whether it will be on. Okay, now let's pay attention to this relay one. The red LED will, weather will be on. I look at the clock and this LED indicate. Okay, as you can see, this relay one is on. So you can see the FTD command is running, it's successfully. So this is used by the locally timer for the uh, time schedule. Uh, country automatic country this relay. So if you have this want different time, so you can just uh, use this number two FDD command and edit. And also you can choose this uh, Wednesday uh, some uh, week option and set the different uh, timer. Uh, for example, uh, twenty and add to if and this add then, and you can create FDD uh, HTTP command and the number two. Uh, just you need back to the uh, software and uh, create the number two customer command. So you can see, uh, you can create the customer size and this one, maybe you number two. The number two, you need to turn on relay two, just, thi uh, just this one. Uh, this is relay two. And you can copy and uh, paste it here and the right current, just the number two is right to CLB. So you just create the FTD command, I just add the number two, and this is the timer, and I can create 23, and add it to if, and this is then, so you can say FTD command, HTTP command, and this is number two, just relate to, add it to then command, so you can say if then apply, okay? Uh, so the number two FTD command is running. Now you can see uh, this is running. You can see it here. Uh, this number two is running. Okay, this is the solution. You can set the different timer for different relay for on and off. Uh, this is CRB work with HTTP Pro. Okay, thanks for watching.